<laughs> Raptor is paying me for singles after the bracket has started. Classic Raptor stuff. <sighs> All right. Grand finals, guys. Here we go. I think Sone has been doing a really admirable job at uh, not dropping a lot of his stuff. He's been getting his conversions when they count. And overall, I think he's been doing rather well. Maybe, uh, maybe one thing he's been doing is relying too much on reads, especially uh, when he has the opponent in the air. He's been going for a lot of forward smashes and up smashes, uh, hoping to catch an air dodge. But sometimes you just have to throw those out to make your opponent scared or to respect you. See, like that, that, that up throw to up smash is the kind of thing you need to throw out so that your opponent respects the option. But now you need to make sure that next time you cover what they actually choose instead of just, uh, you know, playing hope chess. Basically crossing your fingers and saying, I hope they walk into my hitbox. Sound with a quick draw from ledge. Uh, not the best of options out of the corner, but you know what? It's a good thing to throw out every once in a while. Just to keep your opponent on their toes. And it looks like it's uh, Sone that's actually taking the first stock here uh, from Stock Taker. That Nair, the very last bit of it, found a way to hit Stock Taker, and now he has taken such a big uh, percent on the second stock. This is all extra credit. That back throw might have killed a lighter character, but Ike is fairly heavy. Hmm. Gets crossed up in the corner and goes for the down tilt, but Stock Taker was ready for it and grabbed and uh, was able to seal the deal. But look at this percent lead. He has a lot of ground to make up. Mm, reacts to the side B and goes towards the center of the stage. Says, here's a forward tilt. You can take a little more percent, go right back into the corner. That is one thing Stock Taker has been doing an admirable job of doing. He's waiting for Sone to side B high or low, and he's reacting accordingly and punishing rather well. Oh, he went for it. He really went out there and went for it all. Forward throw into forward tilt. What a combo. I like the up tilt response. Nice anti-air. Says, hey, you're getting a jump, so uh, enjoy the sword. Forward throw, and look at all this percent he's getting. Forward throw, and uh, I'm sorry, up throw, I guess, a DI mix-up, because it doesn't look like it'll combo, but just ends up doing it anyway. Someone throws out his panic option. Says, uh, I don't want to get comboed anymore. So his up B kind of gets him out of there. But uh, still has to deal with the 99 damage he has so far, and now over 100... Um, Stock Ticker. Oh, now it's Stock Ticker though taking damage. Oh, that forward, uh, that dash attack rather. Oh, he's living. <gasps> he has his jump too? No way. Sone was doing such a great job of staying alive there. I really love that. But Stock Ticker is so good at reading jumps with back air. And you know. You could argue it's not even reading the jump, it's just a safe move to throw out, and he puts it out there in the right spots at the right times. Says, hey, if you jump here, you're dead. Basically, Sock Taker forces you to play on the ground where he knows that Wolf's strong tilts will uh, not necessarily carry him through, but you know, by covering the air with back air like that, it says, hey, we're playing on the ground, we're playing by my rules, and Ike is not a fast character on the ground. Uh, honestly, not in the air either. But at least in the air, he has the advantage of a big sword that can be swung very fast. On the ground, Ike's fastest swinging move, maybe down tilt or forward tilt. And you know, those are high commitment moves. Uh, forward tilt has a considerable amount of end lag that you really don't want to find yourself using in the wrong situations. Oh, that forward smash is such an annoying move because no matter how prepared you are for it, it's hard to punish. It's just got such little end lag. So 
Sun's doing a great job of mixing up his aerials. Back air, nair, down air, all within a couple of seconds of each other were thrown out there. Son probably could have lived that too. Um, but, you know, I think he's okay with that exchange because he was at way more percent than Stock Taker was. So, definitely an exchange to be happy with. But uh, just wanted to note that he could have done better. Ooh, he got the tech lead, but uh, kind of flubbed it a little bit. I think that tech on that platform could have been covered better. Oh, man, he's just throwing it all out there now. You know, I think Sona's better off going to the ledge um, with those side beats because Stock has been doing such a great job of covering when he goes to center stage. All right, Sone now on his last stock in game two. Stock Taker up a full game here. Um, actually. Sorry, we forgot to update the score, but it is 1-0 Stock Taker. And now could be 2-0 if he gets one more good exchange here. I love how Sone uses the side B to cover stage when he needs to get across the stage really quickly because Mike is not a fast character. That Nair conversion, really good stuff. Gets a Nair, fine, follows it up with a back air. Ooh. Stock Taker, kind of surprising himself with that move. Looked like he really didn't expect it to land. Uh, at least didn't expect it to be so, uh, so easy. Running it right back to uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. These guys really love this stage. And the scary part is if Zone is able to somehow make this reverse 3-0 comeback, he has to worry about Stock Taker's other characters. This guy plays Villager, he plays Wii Fit, he plays Palutena. All of these characters that you have to worry about, if you're able to figure one out, Hey, guess what? Then he's got another one in the tank. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that down air hit, and I don't think that Stock Taker fan either, although he nods his head in approval, almost saying like, yeah, yeah, I deserve that. So maybe he, uh, maybe he respects it, I don't know. Oh, I can't believe they both missed each other there. That bad quick draw out of the corner. Stock Taker was able to punish it with a shield grab and sets up a nice back air. Really good stuff from Stock Taker. His, one of his greatest strengths is when he has you in the corner, he's so good at reading your jump. So you have to make sure that every jump you do is purposeful. You can't just be throwing them out like they're, uh, like they're free because they really aren't. They'll toss you if, uh, if he predicts where you're gonna go. Uh, just like that. Stock Taker has taken a lead in this game here now. Sone back 40% plus. Oh, Sone mixing up his quick draws to center stage says, what is that hitbox? How did he go to the blast zone from that? What the heck is that? I have never seen that ever. Stock Taker 58, 66 damage from a forward air string into a forward smash. Insane damage. Again, you could be forward airing four times with Sheik or with Wolf. One character gets you 40 damage, the other one doesn't. Insane stuff. Someone is throwing everything out right now, trying to end this stock. He can't let any more damage be tacked on, otherwise his hopes of winning this set are basically zero. He's got one more chance. All right, finds his way back to center stage. He reads his jump again. Stock taker with the 3-0. Dominating performance from Stop Digger. Really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. <laughs> the MT chair. My good companion. Well, it's been a pleasure to be your companion through this uh, top four over here at Aeon Gaming, number 43, I think. Uh, it's been a real blast. Great job to Stock Taker, Sone, and all the rest. Um, I guess we're ready to send it to the skies. I've got nothing else to say. Oh, sign up for Return to Yoshi's Island, the regional that we are holding on November 2nd. You can do that at smash.gg slash Yoshi. All right.
That's all I have to say. Congrats, everybody. Thanks for coming out. And send it to the skies.